So the math parts are that, what a couple of y'all said. One, that I found the missing angle here, and it was 64. And so that means that this is 64, 32, and so that one must be 84. That's one way to do it. Um, another way would be, somebody else had a really good way of saying it. Somebody did math. Ah, and I thought in my head that's a really good way we should write that down. And I can't remember what you said now. Oh, you plugged in. That's what it was. So since this had 32 and 84, this one has 32. So they plugged in the 84 over here and got 180. And so then the missing side over here must be 64. So they plugged in the missing angle from the other triangle to see if it was 180. That's what it was. So similarity has two rules. One, the angles have to be equal. Same angles. Same angles. Same exact angles. So over here, this one is 84. And over here, this one is 64. And if you wanted to check it, you could add them together and get 180. That's rule number one. Rule number two is that the sides are proportionate. Are proportionate. Which means we're going to go back to a proportion for this where we cross, multiply, divide. Cross, multiply, and then divide. So if I said, oh, this doesn't have numbers on it. I'm not going to even try. I'll just end up making up something. All right. So what we're going to do, as far as the angles go, all of the ways y'all said were good, where you can either substitute in that one or find the missing angle find the missing angle, and then just check it from there. That's good. Sides being proportionate. We're going to do an example. Just because it's been a while since we've done this. Here we go. Okay, example. All right. If you have two triangles... If one triangle looks like this, and then the other one, whew, I need my straight lines, and the other one goes right there. And this is going to be x, this is 40.5, this is 54, and this is 35. Wait, what's the other one? <coughs> 54, 40.5, and then 35. So, to review, because we've already done this. One, if you follow these lines, we know that these are two similar triangles because of the idea of dilations, where you have the rays that come off and hit all the vertices. So this is a dilation. It's a similar figure. If you need to redraw your two triangles, you can. So if I needed to break these two up so that I have one big one and then the small one and then relabel it where this is 54, this is X from this triangle here and then this is 35. What's the bottom? Oh, sorry. It's kind of tricky. You have to add these two. Because if the short triangle is 54, then the long triangle can't be 40.5. You have to add those two. 94.5.
So if you need to break them down, redraw them, it helps. Because now it looks obvious to me. Now my proportion just jumps out at me. So remember when we do a proportion, we have to pick a side, pick its partner, pick another side, pick its partner, cross multiply divide. So out of the four things we have, which one would you like to put in the top left corner? So my choices for the bottom are either 54 or 35. Which one would you like? 54 or 35? It doesn't matter. 54? Okay. So you're going from this one to that one. Now, since we went from the larger triangle on top to the smaller triangle on bottom, I have to keep that pattern on the right side. So what number is going to go on the top right corner? 35. And underneath that is going to be X. Now I have my proportion. I can cross multiply and divide. So I do 35 times 54. And then divide by 94.5. So 54 times 35, that's 20, 25, 26, 27, 0, 12, 16, add 0, 7, 8, 9, 6, 8, 1, 1890. And then we divide by 94.5. So 1890 divided by 94.5. The product goes in the division sign. And if I have a decimal outside, I have to move it, move it, put a zero, bring it up. Whew, I'm going to guess two. And it's two. I see two. That's 1890. Subtract, zero, and put a zero. So my X, my missing side here, is 20. This is review. <clears throat> we did this seventh grade math when we did it a couple weeks ago. You took a test over it already. This is the eighth grade extension of it, where you also have to look at the angles of the triangle.